A modern look is dawning for the Westmoreland Police Divisional Headquarters. After a prolonged wait, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the JCF, and the citizens of Westmoreland are finally starting to see their plea in action, following a groundbreaking ceremony in Landaila today. Celine Campbell reports. Once a quiet parish, Westmoreland has now taken on the designation as one of the crime hotspots in Jamaica, accounting for 117 homicides in 2023. This is 24 fewer murders than was committed in 2022. But despite the 17% decline, already the parish has recorded 14 murders since the start of the year, including the first triple murder. Westmoreland's major crime trends has seemingly captured the attention of the government following its 2.7 billion Jamaican dollars investment into a new police divisional headquarters. This investment marks the largest of its kind in a police station. One of the challenges facing law enforcement was that our officers were made to work in absolutely deplorable conditions. You go into various parishes, they had abandoned buildings, they occupied. And they look abandoned because you find when teachers start coming from the community and the principal live in the community, they, they I'll leave the teacher's cottage, police get it. Policing is a profession. And like every other profession, especially technical profession, they require facility that reflects the demands of policing. The pending headquarters is part of the Ministry of National Security's project Rebuild Overall and Construct Project Rock. In 2018, the ministry assessed and found that approximately 50 of 213 of the country's stations were in a state of despair and required urgent destruction or renovation. Westmoreland's Custis, Reverend Hartley Perrin, points to the existing headquarters as one such facility. He highlights that the current wooden structure has done its course. And this is a red letter day in the history of Westmoreland to see the ground being broken to allow for a proper headquarters where the police of Westmoreland can certainly serve and protect and reassure the citizens of Westmoreland. I think that this building, when it is completed, will be able to attract more police persons who would want to come into the parish to serve. Meanwhile, outgoing Commissioner of Police, Major General Anthony Anderson, is encouraging the people of Westmoreland to brace for better service, while encouraging the police to anticipate a more conducive working environment. This facility is going to serve Westmoreland in a new and special way. It, it is going to cause things that are perhaps, and, and parts of the force that are probably not in Westmoreland now, to be migrated into Westmoreland. Because you, a facility like this is way beyond a divisional headquarters. It needs to be more. Project Rock was established to create more modern, efficient, and functional police stations, which will better enable the members of the force to serve the public. Celine Campbell for CVM News.